After more than 70 years, relatives gather at O'Hare Airport for the chance to welcome home the body of Delbert Drasky, an Air Force captain. He was one of 52 servicemen killed when their plane, a C-124 cargo jet, crashed into the side of Mount Gannett in Alaska on a stormy November afternoon in 1952. My grandmother used to tell us stories, I'm sure you yep. too, yep. Um, about it. Chicago firefighters and police greet the plane upon arrival. An honor guard is on hand to remove the casket from the cargo area. They carry it to a waiting hearse for the trip to the funeral home. Relatives say search crews were unable to find the wreckage until about 12 years ago because it was on a steep glacier and buried under the snow. They recovered a number of Captain Drasky's personal effects, including his military ID, but it would be 12 more years before they were able to identify his remains from a thumbprint. The family was notified in June of this year. Hearing all this since 2012 coming up was like, seems surreal, you know, and uh, put some closure for the family. Several books have been written about the crash. Stormy conditions initially prevented crews from reaching the crash site, which is on a glacier. According to books, the wreckage became buried under the snow and slid down the mountain several miles from where it crashed. For Drasky's family, the important thing is that their wait is now over. He's back with the family where he belongs. Captain Drasky will be buried tomorrow at Holy Cross Cemetery in Calumet City with full military honors. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.